Um, it's a very, very low one. It was a couple of years ago that he played it last, but does have some experience. Oh. We also have a fight on the bottom side of the map. Targamus, though, he's going down very, very low. The Ignite is ticking. Kumiyushi going to have to back away, though. And it looks like the Pike will slink into Fog of War and heal up. Early on. Broken Blade is the person we have to keep our eyes on as he runs out of mana and only looks for the die. Yeah, yeah we'll, they have Ignite. They're we'll see go. whether they can navigate this one. Stun does come through. Broken Blade burning down. That is going to be first blood. The Flash comes in. Can Caps chase after him, though? 300 health on the Viego as he tries to get the stab through. It's it's a decent attempt to for a stun, but Owner is going to be taken down. Say it's no flash, of course, and Caps is going to walk it out. Meanwhile, on the bottom side, Flacker takes down Gubiyushi. What is happening down here? Carry is looking for the last shot. Fake is going to pick up the kill in the end, and that's a double for the best player in the world. It's going to start, so we're going to okay. have a look at this bot lane. As you can see, a level advantage for G2. The aggro starts by being taken by Targamus. Then they're going to set up the focus onto Gumiyushi, but the damage onto Yankos and the fact that Flackett can't kill Gumiyushi quickly enough means the Faker has enough time to get down here. And look, he's in the perfect position to set up for these two kills. Throws the Ignite down onto Flackett. Carry is going to throw down those auto attacks to help secure that kill. And Faker's going to shut down onto Yankos. So are still down on Gumiyushi. Caps, though, spotted out. And Owner uh, going to intercept here, make things a little bit awkward as Faker's now cheating down. They're going to yeah. collapse. Carry's going to handshake Caps here. He's looking to try and get out. The Blast Gun's going to disappear, though. And he does have the taunt, but that's exactly what they want. Faker. I think is going to jump over the wall and it's just a matter of a few seconds. Can these double buffs actually be taken here by T1 as Faker, I think, should be able to get an auto in. Oh! It is going to be owner that locks down the kill. So Herald mid, I think, makes yeah. so much sense because it gives you so much more map control and Faker's ability to siege is super strong as they look for another die. Yeah, Cataclysm is going to start this one up as Yanko's trying to get out of there. He's going to survive for now. Kumiyushi looking to get out. The Ignite is ticking down, but it looks like he might have got himself to relative safety. No, the answer is absolutely not. And it's a great dive to come on through. Feel the sighs of relief from our analysts that are just back there saying, oh yeah, they always have a plan for if something's being taken uh -oh. across map. I said that before. <laughs> you know, we've been saying it all tournament. It's meantime, yeah, it there's the a round. fight here towards the bottom side. Oh! Nice sidestep there from Kumiyushi. Kumiyushi is still being able to weave through these autos. Owner turns up as well. Targamus in trouble, but is going to stay alive for now. Kumiyushi not going to be able to find that kill and will be taken down. G2 now happy with what they've taken. Faker moving on in. It's a flash Ooh. forward. It's Yanko's going to get headshot out of that opportunity. Faker's going to pick up the kill as he dives on in. And he's not the number of towers that are up and available right now. There is some, a lot of standing gold, I would say, for G2 to grab. The question is, can they grab it? As an ultimate comes in from Yanko. Yeah, that is a cataclysm to come down. Great! Handshake does come through there as Caps does try to get out the taunt, but he's not going to be able to find it. The Gale Force is going to be able to keep Gumiushi alive. Caps flashes oh. away, but Faker just assassinates Blackett in the back line. Targum is trying to get out of there now as well as the resets will come in. Yankos is lying on the ground and this taunt is not going to work. The Heartbreaker is going to come through, but oh. Owner is going to get taken down. Caps goes golden again at exactly the right time. Zay is now wrapping around Carrier, moving in, flashes forward, doesn't get the handshake though. As Broken Blade melee range against this Renata, but it looks like Carrier doesn't really mind. Zayus is so, so scary, but the top lane, they're losing everything. This is why I keep casting team fights, and the whole base is exploding. T1 are winning on the other side of the map. A very scrappy fight here between G2 and T1, but T1 taking the hex gates, they grab that top and hit. Off the rift, this is Getting, uh, yeah, the amount of surmountability is not very high for G2 at this stage. 8.5 thousand gold in the lead. This but this, it. this is exactly the time that G2 might have a chance as T1 are ripping through this Baron. Yankos is inside the pit. Can he make it a 50-50? No, he can't keep himself alive. The ult from Renata will make sure no one can answer. The Baron comes through. And T1, I think they're just a little too far ahead. G2, all five are alive, but... The wallets are just feeling a little thin. Caps now looking for his opportunity. Does find the taunt. Winds of War comes through, but the Justice Punch is only going to move him further into danger. He goes golden to see his death for a moment, but T1 will be able to take him down. They'll look for this mid turret as Yankos, in the middle of his cataclysm, is just going to die. And I think that's going to spell the end finally here as the Bone Skewer comes forward. Oh. Faker will get taken down, but Flackett is going to get answered immediately. And remember, T1 have a backup 80 carriers. Gumiyushi's going to be able to pick up a few extra autos before destroying this Nexus. And honestly, this game one felt personal on the side of T1. And we'll see whether G2 can answer back in game two. Twice, twice, there are twice. exceptions, yeah. but Faker does not use skins, right? And so oh, Carrier is flash level one though. So we're just going to hold it's it there shame. for a moment. That is going to be the charm hitting, but it doesn't even really matter. Carrier going to get taken down low. The flash from Yankos, but the stun comes in. Carrier is still going to die, but it's going to take a little bit longer. There is the
the winter's bite, just to guarantee uh, it just never happened. T1 um, baited us in with all of their very aggressive play, and there is a hook, and we're going to start a fight here on the bottom side. Yankos was spotted. Owner is here as well. Winter's bite once again going to go wide as the Blade Coral is fantastic. The Depth Charge gets the flash out from Flag, oh, and the Gunner kick. just kicks him through. Another stun's going to come down onto Targamus, but he'll be okay for now. Right, because mid lane, you're losing the wave there. Yankos dropping Harold Bot. Faker is going to move down towards Bot, and Owner is running down here now, so G2 has got to get out of there. TP yeah. those TPs are up. Oh, Another no hook going to come through. Faker, yes, they know that he's here, but can they actually get out in time? As Owner dives on in, they're trying to layer all that CC. The Lee Sin manages to get out, but the Heartbreak is there to follow. It's a one for one as Flacket falls down, though, and now Faker is on the hunt, looking for this Braum as the chains connect onto Yankos, but he has another one. 29.8% of the team's damage from Zayas, who has been having an absolute standout. Oh, Flacket's oh, just going to oh. pop, and the turret might just go down as well. Faker is going to get X. Oh, no. No, 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 no. He did get killed by Caps. He killed the turret. That's what I thought the execution was. That was terrifying. But thankfully, <laughs> it is Caps that's able to answer that one back. Cute little solo kill there for Faker, though, on the top side before he went down. And smart to actually have the presence of mind to finish off the tower there. Realize that you're wrapped around on. You are going to go down. But catch here. Yeah, it's going to be the knockoff onto Carrier. He does have a bit of a shield. And now the rest of the boys are going to turn up. He is going to fall, but can Broken Blade get himself out? He's going to flash. But the safeguard's going to get Owner in there as well. Nice. Knock up from the Q from Broken Blade. And then the stun damage. comes down from Targamus. But yeah, there's zero damage between these two. His owner's trying to fight this one out. Caps comes over, though. He's got a lot of damage himself. As now Gumushi throws down the feathers. Flacket finds the Moonlight Vigil as Gumushi just dives on top of Caps. Fine. As, yeah, this is some of the T1 plays that we were seeing a bit fast in a few of those more, uh, yeah. The more fast and loose games, exactly. As Caps going to find a nice charm onto Zayas. Looking to try and trade this one back, but he's just not doing enough damage. Caps just... Oh! The ult oh. comes through Zayas! Manages to find it! It's traded back in the end! Get behind the return of the Q and is able to find a big pick. Charm lands on the Faker. Yeah, that's the Q flash. It's Faker going down extraordinarily low. Targamus now going to rotate over as well. Great Winter's Bite as Faker brings his clone over. Flashes the wall. Targamus going to try and find the ulti kill and he'll get it! This top tower. You can see the vision investment. As, uh, they're looking for Gumi Yushi. going to come through from Broken Blade. Gumi Yushi going to try and get out with the Gale Force. Also uses the Feather Storm. It's a lot invested. As now Yankos starting this dive. Decent sidestep onto the Heartbreaker. But there are too many buttons G2 has available. And the Zyre is going to fall down. Now T1 will find their way into the fight. But have they got here fast enough? As it's a really nice chain from Faker. But he will pop back. G2, now can they get out of this one is the question. Oh, oh just dives into the knockoff. The setup was just beautiful from Broken Blade as Faker goes down. Now T1 desperately trying to get out. Good flash from Carrier, but Owner's not going to be so lucky. Charming is Caps as he puts him back towards his outer turret there in the hit, So who cares? Yeah. Not T1 now trying to get this push on. It feels like things have slowed down just a little bit. As Hexflash comes in and I bite my tongue. Q connects as well, but it's Targamus. Remember, this guy's pretty tanky. They're still going to go for the fight, but he breaks his stopwatch. Faker now looks for the double to sword and he'll pick it up. Stand beside me. But that is not going down Faker fast enough. Yep, some decent vision still they here for Carrier. G2 as well as Carrier dives on in. That's a great double knock up and Caps is immediately taken down. Can there be an answer from G2 though? It's Zayas that gets the double knock up and Flacken is still out. Absolutely huge in this fight. The flash from Kumiyoshi. Oh, double kill for Faker in the end. It's Kumiyoshi still trying to fight Yankos. Moves back towards his teammates. Yankos goes golden, but I just don't think he's going to have the gap closed to lock down this Zyra. And Kumiyoshi going ballistic in the team fight. That's the ace from T1. And now they'll secure Baron. What a flash from Kumiyoshi. The Everyone who... It was kind of shifted quite a lot on who they thought was favorites. At first it was T1, then it was G2, now it's RNG and... Well, Faker could get slowed down here oh. as... Oh man! Oh. Cap's still committing to it, but Faker's just gonna answer back too many mates in that brush alongside him and Caps goes too deep. The locket from Carrier again! This man <laughs> just does it so many times, he refuses to let this T1 oh, lose. Yeah, and now they're diving. Knocked up. That's a dredge line from Carrier as well. Gumiuch is going to sidestep the ulti. Yanko's going to get taken down as Broken Blade will find the Zyre in the back line. He's looking for the knockup, but the Feather Storm is going to be there. The flash out Champion. from the Zyre. Is now the ulti for... No. It's just the Unbound Soul. Just finding Q after Q. Is Zayas there? As the picture-in-picture picture shows us. 
In the meantime, though, we're looking for something. Decent stun, but the buffer of the dredge line is going to be there. Yet, yeah. Zeus was thinking about his opportunity, but T1 are uh, just splitting him, and now Carrier dives on forward. Caps is going to go gold, and his Broken Blade's just trying to keep them busy, but it's just not going to do anything. Oh my goodness, Ono picks up a kill with his Gore Drinker of all things, and now, yeah, that's the direction you probably want to go as T1 are looking to take down these Nexus turrets in game number two, and things in the Rumble stage looked pretty close, but this series is starting to definitely look the opposite of that. As now onto the fountain goes T1. They'll take down the Nexus. This isn't looking close, gentlemen. And right now, T1 are on the precipice of finding themselves slow. as the victor once again. Caps looking for a kill onto Faker. Oh, the bubble, yeah. is bubble is going to go down. As let's see whether Faker finds the right spot. He doesn't. He's going to flash oh, into the oh, oh, that that is is sick. So oh. sick. No. Flashes over the wall. <sighs> oh my. God, that was... Uh, he just broke his ankles! Yeah. Oh and my now Caps God. Is, he's stolen the flash, so he has it at the ready. Is now Faker. He can execute. This and is... there is no way that it can be answered. That was so many... This is the, that's the Reddit play. That's it's the Reddit the, play. It's like the montage <laughs> juke that you're like... Faker recognizes that in order to back or running a kite, you have to be very specific in your base timing. So Faker set up a bit of a, a slow push here so that he could freeze the wave underneath his tower. And now he's hit oh, level they don't six. Here. here coming over. Owner not going to find the Sonic Wave is now caps. Perfect execution from Faker is not going to be enough to lock down that kill. The Ignite comes down. Handshake onto Targamus, who's going down very low, very squishy now on this Karma. No longer on the Brahmas. Flackard's moved on in as well. Feels like everyone's here. The heal comes out from Kumiyushi. Flackard going to get slowed down for now. Not not quite enough of the feathers and flag. It's going to have to flash. Gets himself out to safety. Still 0-0 zero, zero on the kill score. Something that you will see in pro play, but never in solo queue. Where a mid lane and... Oh, hang on. Oh, yeah, ulti comes down towards the bottom side of the map. Gumushi in trouble, and he is going to burn down. I don't think he's going to get enough to get the kill there on that one, and that is going to be the kill secured from G2. That is going to be first blood and... Running away and then flashing back yeah, in. Yeah, kind of know. broke my brain a little bit. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> yeah, I'm not oh, sure no. if he was oh, worth no. it. Carry was going to go down. Now they're looking for a play here, the slow lands. Yeah. We'll see whether the handshake is going to come in. It does, as owner is going to be out of secure it. So one to one now. Reset. Yeah. And he ends up getting punished for it. Oh, on on comes down. Zayas going to flash to get himself out of the way. That is a great ulti from Carrier. A lot of damage now onto Targamus and to Caps as he's just keeping within melee ranges. Now Faker just gets the Q, doesn't pick the right spot to get the ulti over the wall, but the five point strike no is flash. going to be there. Targamus doesn't have his flash exactly like you were saying. Carrier is going to lock down that kill in T1. It gets very difficult. Oh, nah, there is going to be the knocker from Broken Blade. They're threatened, but Paranoia oh. comes in. That is going to be immediately the kick out as it's going to be owner that locks down the Herald. But Yankos, can he get anything else done? The, the rest of the team it. are coming in. Caps just looking to lock down Carrier. Carrier is going to try and W himself, but it's not going to quite be enough as Broken Blade flashes over the wall. Yankos eventually does go down. Targum is also just going to be taken off the rift once again as now Caps against the world. Zeus is trying to skip through everything. Exactly so that Nocturne would arrive and then is instantly killed. And Flack it may be seeing him die again. Bot side, no flash. Yeah, Faker. Perfect execution is going to be available. And he throws it out. So with things time. like the Orn that now G2 have uh, for themselves. As Caps was looking for Gumiushi. Good ignite to go down there, but doesn't find the paddle star. His owner just going to wait until Targamus goes down, but it's not going to be enough. He does eventually get back in there. Q going to land as well. And now Zoe feeling like a sitting duck right now. Has to go back to that portal jump. Wishes he didn't. As now Flack is going to get dove on once again. Faker's got the second act but it's not going to quite be enough damage as he didn't want to get underneath that turret. Oh. oh, not quite enough as the bullet time. And they're not giving G2 a second to breathe. Well, Paranoia just to get over the wall. Nice Big knob, shield. but it's a great spell shield from Yankos, exactly as you say. Targamus now comes in, has the exhaust. It's now Flackens here as well. Four versus one as Zeus does now have it oh. and he keeps himself alive. Thanks, Carrier, for that one. And Carrier even grabs himself the kill as well. Zeus now with a grump. It's just going to eat that one up and be a little bit more healthy. Gumushi now looks for it. Mini stun into the wall. Targamus is taken down. Oh, it isn't it. They can't even get the one kill. Carry arriving in time for the bailout. Cap's going to look here now, but owner can easily block. Yeah. And it's just been the owner show. 10 out of 11 KPs running everywhere. Gumushi is going to get taken down here most likely. I mean, I've said that a few times. He, he does have flash, and so he is... Just going to try to create that distance. There's the hostile takeover from Carrier. He now wraps himself around. Caps is still looking to try and get that locked down. A massive Nara into the wall. That's going to be Faker locking down the killers. Everyone's turned up. Gumi Yushi's going to kill Caps. And gentlemen, I don't think the 
G2 have anything left in the tank for this game? T1 are just styling right now. You can see he's been become... amazing, and we've gotten to see many times over why Karia was the spring MVP as oh, well. That's an R, and Zayas is just going to pop the Zoe. We'll see whether Yankos can answer this one. As yep, everyone's coming down to try and take him out this time, but the Ram's going to be there. That's oh, two, oh. two versus. With five people down here, the rest of T1 are launching themselves towards these inhibitor turrets. Sayers takes two with him. Just yet, G2 holding on for the moment. Their wave clear is pretty good. And of course, it's not like the Baron hasn't spawned. Still got 10 seconds. That's a flash in for the hostile takeover. The kick comes forward onto Cap's butt. They are trying to get themselves back. The Nara into the wall from Sayers. He throws the boulder through it. All four just get wiped from the Rift Placket. Just left walking back to the fountain, the teleport to the mid lane, and in 20 minutes, T1 are looking to end this game. T1 wipe G2 off the map, and Flacket is left alive to watch as his base crumbles. T1, 3-0, will look to claim their revenge against G2. And an incredibly swift best of five as well, as now Flacket's going to be taken down. Both of these Nexus turrets go down, and T1, much like RNG did in their semi-final, will get a 3-0 over the Western team. A few extra kills at the end, but there it is. T1 looks Looking to try and claim their third MSI title and deny the reigning MSI world champions theirs.